Hello everybody, time for another soap. So this is another remake for my summer range which is Cold Pillow. Now Cold Pillow is an essential oil blend of lavender, geranium and vetiver. And I've already made my blend up here. It's quite dark, there's a vetiver oil in there. Um, it's predominantly lavender but it doesn't smell like lavender. It doesn't smell like a lavender soap because those other two oils, it's a really sort of like earthy scent. It's called Cold Pillow because my nephew used to always walk around with a cold pillow. He had a thing about wanting a cold pillow with him all the time. So when he was a little kid, he used to have this cold pillow. So in the sort of depths of summer, when it gets kind of hot here in the UK, there's nothing nicer than to rest your head on a cool cotton pillow. So that's where this is in my brain. So I'm gonna be making that today. And this is a gradient soap. So I'm using some olive green clay, the Australian green clay, um, ingredient layers and then there'll be a cocoa line and white on the top with my peaked top rather than my folded over top like I, I do sometimes or well, lots of the time but I'm going to use my peaks today ow so it must have been a bead of caustic soda that I've just made up a fresh batch of uh, lye solution I do like a 50-50 um, blend of water and lye, um, water and caustic soda, so that I've got a master batch of lye ready, so that I just add my extra oil, uh, um, extra water to it when I'm ready to make soap. And I'm using my buckets today again, so I'm making two loaves, but I'll just make the one on film. So I get all my oils ready in my buckets in advance before I get to my soap making sessions, and then everything's all sorted. So I've just mixed up that lye, and I've just got a bead of it on my arm. So that's why I always would stay, wear long sleeves if you can, but I, I, it's hot in here today, so I'm not wearing long sleeves, but just bear that in mind, it's best to if you can. Okay, um, that's if you, if you make soap. Okay, so cold pillow, we're gonna get on with that. I've got a few more to do, so I'll probably do several videos and try and get them uploaded in the next week or so. So stay tuned and we'll get going and hope for the best for this one. So I'm just stick blending to a light emulsification here. Loaf I've just made of this. So I'm just gonna pour off the top for my white into this one. I'm not gonna stir it, I'm just gonna leave it because I shall need that at the end. And then into this one, which I've already used again, so just excuse the mess, it's just I've already done the soap. So into this one we're going to pour in, um, let's have a think. Go about that far. And then into this portion goes all of the clay. So I want two spoons, tip it in there. need some more of that, I really went off. I'm going to stick blend. So this will be the darkest layer to the bottom. stick blend a little more because I want it to be quite thick just to get that first layer in. Okay, it's about right. So, I'm going to pour in this first layer. Now, what we pour in, so up 
to about where we were before. And stick blend again. closer for the next layers. Okay so I'm going to use my scoop in a minute. I'm going to just stick them a little bit more because it's quite loose still. I need it a bit thicker than that. A bit better. Okay. So Layer number two. It's a bit of a slow process. Just because I don't want to break through to the layer beneath. So it's always a tricky old job this. So it's a bit like watching paint dry. So I'll probably speed it up just slightly. So I shall stop talking for a second. Okay, so now I can pour in, I'm just going to put the rest of my essential oils in there. So next layer. And again, with a lighter colour again. So as we go through, it gets thicker and thicker underneath, so it's not such a tricky job, but it's just that first couple of layers, they can be a bit of a pain. But it doesn't matter if your lines aren't dead straight because who cares really, you know? It's nice to have the lines there but it doesn't matter, they don't need to be crisp, if you see what I mean. Not like, you know when they, soap makers make rainbow soaps, then it makes sense to have crisp layers but with these clay gradient soaps I think it's not got to be quite so precise. Next one. Okay, this one I'm just going to try and pour it on. Yeah, there we go. Bucket in this white bit. 
stick blend it just before I pour it. Okay, so I just want to do my cocoa line first. Just grab some of that. Nothing too cray cray. because I don't like the mess there. Okay, put that to the side a second. I'm just going to stick blend that white. Now super thick, as you can see. It's like a thick cream. messy old process this soap but it's nice when it's done so I'm just going to be really careful get that on the top get an Instagram picture. <laughs> okay. See if I can do it again. An action shot. one-handed photo taken. It's a good job these phones these days are so good and they capture, you know, they don't go all blurry. Imagine having to use an old disposable camera or something to get your action shot <laughs> with one hand. Just wasn't, it's not going to happen. So we're kind of privileged these days that we got all this stuff at our fingertips, you know. Oh, that looks nice. Okay, let's get all the rest of that in. I'm going to peak the top, so I just have to leave this to thicken just a little while. It looks nice as it is, I know, but I do want to get those tall peaks on there because it's kind of my little signature for this soap. See you in a second. Okay, be ready to peek this now. Ooh, it's rather thick. Might have left that a bit too long, but it's okay. It'll stand up. Ooh, that's nice. Actually, that's just about perfect. Oh, that's a nice texture. See, essential oils, they always just, when they're good ones that don't accelerate, it, I don't know, it's just a pleasure to use them. and I've just put this cream one on. <laughs> okay, so there's cold pillow, done dusted, and I will be back to cut it tomorrow. 
and see what we got inside. Okay, see you then. Ta ta. Okay, so I'm going to cut into this. I've got two loaves to cut. One, this one that I did on camera, and then the other one. I posted a, I don't know if you can see that, okay. I posted a video, uh, a picture yesterday. <laughs> Get your words out. Posted a picture yesterday on my Instagram just to show the difference between the two because the first one I made, I pulled the cocoa line up into the peaks on the top and on this one I didn't. So I just want to see the difference. And loads of people were commenting and saying which one they liked the best on the top. But when they're both cut, there probably won't be too much difference other than this will just be a straight line and the other one will be like a crooked line. So we'll see which one is best. Just have to tighten my strings on this. I didn't realise how loose they were. Okay. Yeah, so this is going to be a relatively straight line, as you can see. Oh. So there's that gradient you can see going down. It's obviously a bit better towards the bottom because as I went, the um, batter was sort of like the same colour towards the end. Still nice though. Still a nice peaceful sort of serene looking bar of soap. So I'll just chop these and then chop the rest. I've just been trying to chase up an order of bottles I placed 10 days ago. company that I use is normally quite good, but they've got really, really bad Google reviews. Like, really bad. Like, they don't get back to customers and blah, blah, blah. And I thought, oh, lordy. I've used them for a long time. And I've had issues in the past, but not major ones. I'm not going to mention any names because that would be rude. But, um, yeah, this time it's like... Pull your app together. What are you doing? So I've just phoned them up and I got the usual, yes, your order's out for dispatch. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I said, can you make sure that it is? Yeah, I'll just go and check for you. So he's like, I can hear him holding the phone still. He's gone nowhere to go and check and then just tells me, yes, it's out. It'll be with you on Monday. I'm like, okay. <laughs> Luckily, I used PayPal to pay for I use my card through PayPal so luckily with PayPal if you have any issues it's a lot easier to dispute whereas with the bank it's like a bit more of a tedious process so with PayPal they'll do the investigation for you but we'll see if it turns up on Monday but there seems to be a mass shortage of 250 milliliter bottles like an eight ounce bottle seems everywhere as well like I actually I don't know what I was looking at the other day, but somebody in the States had said the bottles are really, it's really hard to get hold of them at the moment, so there must be like a worldwide shortage of 8 ounce bottles, which is a shame. So I've just ordered some spouted pouches, and I'm hoping that they'll be better, actually, because they're a lot easier to get hold of. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> ramble, ramble, let's have a look at this other one just to see the difference between the two. Ooh, this one looks messier to me, see? I wasn't really keen on the one on the left in the picture I put on my Instagram. If you want to follow my Instagram, the links are all below in the description. And my recipe as well is in the description. You can get it on Etsy. And there'll also be an information thing somewhere in this video. Oh, okay, so this one... Oh, actually, this is quite nice. So this one... Let me get closer. The gradient is a lot nicer, and I thought it wasn't when I was making it, but you can see now that line's crooked where I've picked it up, but the gradient on it is so much nicer and so much more defined than this one that I've already cut. Let's have a look at the difference between the two. Look, so this one's more like a soapy colour on the top and this one's got a better gradient. Same blend, it's just I made two batches at a different time. Oh that's nice, I like that. It's got like a wonky line on the top. So I'll leave some close-up pics of these so you can have a look. 
But yeah, I actually quite like the wonky line now. And loads of other people were liking that one better on Instagram. It was about 50-50, like, for people's opinions were about, yeah, 50-50 across the board on these two. Just looking at the tops. And I said I'll post a picture of these together so we can have a look. And I'll bet they like this, this one best because it's got more interest in those peaks. It's not that deep, it's just bars of soap, you know, but um, interesting how different they can be when I just made the two batches on the same, well, within the same hour. But I just decided to do something different on the first one. Anyway, let's cut the rest. It smells so good. The thing with this soap is it needs to be used as soon as it's ready really it needs to be used because the essential oils can disappear pretty quick. The vetiver keeps it stronger for longer but the lavender and geranium they kind of fleet off quite quick. So this soap is best used about I'd say about six weeks after cure time. And then it's, really, it's just a lovely lovely bar soap. I love this. So I'm going to be saving myself some because vetiver, as I said, is one of my favourite oils. I absolutely love it. So, there we go. That's cold pillow. I'll leave some pics at the end of all these different bars I got. And I will see you for the next video sometime next week because it's Friday now and I won't be filming today. I'm really tired. I'm saying all week, like every morning I wake up and I feel like I could just sleep longer, but I've not stopped, like so for the whole lockdown, I've been at work and I've not taken a break. I took last Friday off, but I've not taken a break since, you know, the start of lockdown, not properly, and I need a breather. Okay, I will see you very soon. Ta-ta.